Hello everyone, welcome back to Into Sports. I'm your host Evan, and before the video gets going, do me a big favor and subscribe, and also drop your comments down below. Tua Tungavailoa had a very memorable college career at Alabama. From entering the national championship game as a freshman in relief of Jalen Hurts, and throwing the game-winning touchdown, to suffering a frightening hip injury, Tua was a great college quarterback. But as the 2020 NFL Draft came closer, Tua's talent was questioned. Was he athletic enough? Did he have a strong enough arm? Was he healthy? And was he simply just a product of a great offense at Alabama? Tua made his first NFL start Sunday against the Rams, and I'm going to answer those questions based on what the film shows me. Right off the bat, Tua gets the Aaron Donald experience. But there was nothing to be had on this play. He looked to the bottom of the screen and his first read was covered. Came back to the top of the screen and still nobody open. Plus, the Dolphins offensive line is much weaker than the Rams front. So I don't heavily fault Tua for this fumble. But on the next drive, Tua looked a little antsy with his feet. You don't want to be bouncing around like this in the pocket but I'll call this a case of the first start jitters. But now we get to answer the first question. Does Tua have an NFL starting quarterback caliber arm? My answer, yes. It's not a complete rocket like Justin Herbert or Josh Allen, but it is certainly good enough. Right here, Tua throws a ball that travels around 30 yards with his feet not perfectly set and it gets to the receiver before the corner has time to make a play on the ball. He also displayed great touch on a deep ball to his tight end. It won't show up on the stat sheet since it wasn't caught, but he puts the ball in the near perfect spot. This is a part of Tua's game we saw featured in college. He was always taking shots downfield to his speed receivers with great touch, arc, and accuracy on the football. In today's NFL, quarterbacks need to be able to throw the ball on the move outside of the pocket. Fortunately for Tua, he is plenty comfortable with this. Rolling Tungavailoa out of the pocket was a key part of Miami's game plan. But it is worth noting, Tua, a left-handed quarterback, was always rolling left. His ability to throw rolling right and even downfield on the move has yet to be seen. Coming out of the draft, one of Tua's main comps was Drew Brees, and one of the reasons for that is anticipation. Because neither of the two have a howitzer attached to their right shoulder, they have learned to throw the ball before the receiver breaks, so it gets there on time. And as expected, this is still a strength of Tua's game. You see here, he starts winding up well before the receiver has turned around. And to further go along with the Drew Brees comp, Tua did not make any poor decisions in this game. He didn't force the ball into dangerous situations, and he saw the field very well. He frequently went through his first reads, and when nobody was open, he checked the ball down into the flat. Tua managed the game nicely. Tungavailoa showed a nice ability to throw the ball with ease without stepping into throws versus interior pressure. That was what led to his only touchdown on the day. But late in the game, Tua faced pressure and backpedaled too much. Unless you are Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, or one of the other great arm talents in the sport, this is not a good idea. It didn't matter in the context of this game, but it could become a bad habit down the road. In his first start, Tua flashed signs of promise. His anticipation, touch, Decision making and comfort throwing on the move was nice to see. And although he didn't have any real negative plays, he never made a play that made me go, wow. He never created a play where the offense didn't deliver, but he was the sole reason they gained a chunk of yards. That is something that two of his fellow rookies, Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow, do on a weekly basis. Tungavailoa wants to play surgically by throwing on time and in rhythm, like a Breeze or Brady. 
he isn't a quarterback that is going to run around and throw lasers off schedule like Josh Allen or Kyler Murray, for example. So that leads me to my broader point. Because he doesn't create many great plays predicated on his own ability, I don't think Tua Tungavailoa will reach the pinnacle and become a top 5 NFL quarterback. But since he has great smarts, solid athleticism, and throws a nice ball, I think he is a very good, but not truly great quarterback going into the future. I believe he can be a franchise quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, but will never climb to the top of the ladder like Patrick Mahomes or Russell Wilson.